my name is Jay Smith. I'm an Episcopal priest, and I work at a parish in Times Square in New York City. Worked here for several years. I grew up in Western New York in a pretty religious family. I went to parochial schools and to a Jesuit high school in Buffalo. I like to think that I got a good education there, and I had really good teachers who taught us to think about lots of things, including religion and theology and our faith, and uh, that's always been important to me. I thought about being a Jesuit uh, towards the end of my time there, but decided not to put the decision off because I knew I was gay. I'd known I was gay for a long time, uh, but I wasn't really ready to talk about that with anybody and wasn't really ready to face it. So I went off to college and uh, uh, made good friends there, came out in 1972, moved to New York City in the late 70s and met my partner Jose in 1980 and we've been together ever since. I drifted away from the church while I was in college and afterwards, not entirely, but a lot. And it was during the time after I met Jose that I started going back to church. And uh, it's funny because when I met him, I wasn't an Episcopalian, didn't know much about the Episcopal Church. And he didn't realize that I was thinking about being, uh, becoming a priest. But all that emerged and in the early 80s, and he was great. He was really supportive. But what he said to me then, and has said since, that um, he just wanted to be clear that what mattered to him was that I be honest about who I was and that we not hide our relationship. And so uh, that was important to him and it became important to me as well. So uh, I went to seminary, uh, both here in New York and up in New Haven, Connecticut. And we were really blessed because I went to seminaries that were very gay friendly and I had bishops who were um, very open to who I was as a gay man and to my relationship. So we were lucky and, and, and blessed in that way. Um, and the parishes where I've worked since I was ordained uh, have welcomed both me and Jose, welcomed our ministries. And uh, that's been a big part of our lives. Jose's been a great clergy spouse and has found ways to be involved in the parishes where I've worked and where we've lived. Um, also, my family during that time, we both came out to our families and they were great, they were supportive, took some getting used to at first. But my nephews and nieces have uh, grown up with Jose and with me as their uncles. And uh, so as I reflect on that and reflected on that for this in order to do this. It's uh, something that struck me is that we really need each other. We need our families, if they can be supportive. We need our parishes. We need communities of people who support us and love us and love us for who we are and help us to figure out what our ministries are, what the Holy Spirit is calling us to do. When I was in seminary in New Haven in the late 1980s, I remember once we went off to a bunch of us gay men and lesbians who were studying at the seminary. We went off to a gay bar one Sunday afternoon and it was this wonderful spring day. We were really relaxed and had a good time. It was this nice place, very mixed. And we started talking to a young woman there. I've never forgotten her. And she was really interested in who we are. And she uh, found out that we were all in seminary and she got sort of serious and said, well, how does that work? You know, you really shouldn't be here. And what I thought she meant was that we were going to get in trouble, that our bishops would be upset or something. And I said, no, 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 it's really okay. Uh, most of us are in, in churches that are very uh, accepting, and it's cool. Uh, it, it's all right, don't worry. And she said, no, 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 that isn't what I mean. She said, you can't be gay and Christian at the same time. And that really shocked me, and I talked some more to her. And she really, really meant that. And what I discovered in talking to her was here is this really lovely, wonderful person who believed, she knew that she was gay, she loved being gay, I think, but she had ex exiled herself from the church or had been exiled. And she didn't know how to bring these two parts of her life together. Um, and she felt that they couldn't be brought together. And I've never forgotten her because I think that's something that we can do for each other. We can 
help each other, we can support each other, we can tell each other that we are all children of God, that God has made us gay and straight and called us to do different things in the world, each one of us. And that's what it's about. We can't do it by ourselves. We need each other. We need our friends. We need our communities, our parishes to help us and to uh, show us the way and help us to uh, listen to the Holy Spirit as the Holy Spirit guides us into our ministries and in our lives.